So the folks behind the free online Photoshop replica, Photop has just updated their tool and announced Vector P, which is their brand new vector tool for making illustrations. Vector P is currently in beta and this is available for anyone across any platform whether you're working on a tablet, a phone, a laptop or a PC to start creating vectors totally for free. And with Vector P in beta, this only promises that more features might be coming over to Vector P. And for those who have no idea what Photop is, Photop is an online Photoshop replica that allows you to do the very basic stuff you would like to do in Photoshop. So whether you're doing photo editing, mockups, thumbnail design or even a website template you can definitely go to town with this currently i kind of use photo p for about 70 percent of the thumbnails that we make especially when i'm on the tablet or on the phone traveling across the country without having a proper pc or laptop with me photo p is the tool of choice i use almost every time the fact that you have this thing on the web means that you can run this at any point more so if you've just been wondering what file format does this accept photo p simply accepts major file formats that you'll be working with and recently they sort of added an update and took something out. So previously you can import CorelDRAW files, right now you cannot, and that has been taken away in place of Figma. So if you're working with Figma, you can now load that in. And if you're working with InDesign, Illustrator, Photoshop, Sketch, PDF, your raw images, or any other file format that has to do with images, you can load them in. Photopea also offers you some templates which you can work with. And if you're into working from drives, you can either use your Google Drive, your OneDrive, your Dropbox, the Photopea brand new drive surface that's now available, or you can work from the device that you're currently on. What more can you get with Photopea? There's a couple of interesting things that you can now get with Photopea. First off, you do have most of the tools that you have in Photoshop, and then you have all of the adjustment layers. Most of the filters you'll be getting with Photoshop exist there. And recently, they've added a few more things to that. So the Wavelet Decompose is now available. For those who are into frequency separation and all that stuff, you can now take advantage of that. There is now a brand new vectorized bitmap and reduced color is also here. And if you're looking for more plugins and more stuff, because this is Photop in its vanilla state, you can add a lot of things. You can go over to the window section go over to plugins and right here you can shop for as many plugins as you want and you can download as many templates as you want. So whether you're looking for some mock-up templates or you're looking for design ideas, you do have a ton of them that you can definitely get from Photop. Now let's switch gears and talk about Vector P, which is the cream of this particular video. So for Vector P, there's a couple of interesting things that you can do with it. So like we mentioned, this is within its first iteration beta and already this offers a lot of features. And of course, if you're thinking about importing stuff, Vector P also allows for multiple file types import, very similar to what you have with Photop. P. It is also worth mentioning that if you do have EPS files or maybe you have some Illustrator SVG files, you can bring them all in. Vector layers are preserved and you can work freely depending on what you're trying to make. There's also some templates that you can work with and you can select from them. You can select the type of file you want to work on, whether it's a mobile file, screen, photo, print or social. And if you're satisfied with that and all of the settings you're going for, you can hit the word create. So just like you have with Illustrator, you can start placing points and working your way up. So we're just simply going to go ahead and dial some stuff in so we can have that. And we can have that right there, throw that in, and we can also throw this right here, there, and we can do something like that. So this is our masterpiece. So with this, you can go ahead and tighten some parts by simply hovering around, just like you have in Illustrator. If you hold down Alt and click, you can make that part sharper. You can also hold down Alt and click and also give this a busy handle. You can do the same thing here so you can dial and make this a basic handle just like you have with illustrator you also have the two different selection type which deals with direct select and also the move select so you can move a selection or you can use the direct selection to move several parts so the good thing about this and why i kind of love the fact that this currently exists is unlike various tools that might require you to have a keyboard or maybe have one other key or something like that this offers some very interesting keys so if you're working on a mobile device you can simply turn on control and use your pen and do whatever you want if you're working on a mobile device you want to hit all instead of having a keyboard or probably you don't have one you can simply turn this on right here use multiple keys turn on multiple keys and get things going and like i mentioned earlier this is still within its first iteration beta and it's looking promising. And for those who are into ad boards, of course there are ad board features like this that you can use. So if you're into ad boards, you wanna make ad boards, 
you can definitely go to town with it and all of this so simply make this a very simple and interesting tool to work with you do have a few more features with this with the font character type the paragraph the glyphs you've also got your css you can also go over to galleries type in some stuff find some images from the galleries and work with and of course, if you're into making booleans, of course you can. You can obviously create booleans and do this wherever and however you want. And of course, with all this said, there's still a ton of features that exist in Illustrator, CorelDRAW, and most other paid apps that you would not be getting with VectorP. But be that as it may, if you're just looking for a tool that you can use to create vectors on the go and just want to get these things done on the web, then PhotoP and also VectorP are the tools that you should consider checking out. And for anyone looking for free places they can download content, we're going to put all of this in the description just in case you want them. And this is definitely going to help designers and artists create faster, especially if you're into mockups or you're looking for a mockup platform that can definitely get you up and running. So this is it. Tell me what you think about this one in the comment section and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.